Marcus Conti reporting. So I want to talk about Michael Moore, the video, right? the video, the big video of, of Caesar Syak at the convention, the Trump convention, right? Trump rally, 2020, Trump. Uh, let's talk about that for a second. It never struck me as being anything valid, anything important until now, until we've, now that we've seen this, this uh, body cam cop video, which is very, very revealing and your comments are fucking amazing. Just keep it coming. Keep the keep it on. This is how we do it, man. We keep fucking keep the pressure on them. Right? You get you put your foot on their throat, and you hold it there and choke them. Yeah. We're doing good, man. This is this is this is good stuff, man. Historical, historical. Oh, fucking grabbing them. Here's the two prospects, and I'm going to show the Michael Michael Moore video. If you haven't seen it. I'll show it in its entirety. I just watched it like three times in a row. I was trying to get a feel for what the hell this is, right? And I think I got a feel for it. But first, I want to just say that right, there's, there's only two possibilities here, right? There's actually, there's actually three possibilities, but two of those possibilities are the same. What am I talking about? See, it, the, the, the Caesar Syak, it's not Cesar. We now know we heard him say his own name and his. We heard him say his name, in his own voice. It's Caesar, that's his name, Caesar. He calls himself Caesar, Sayak, Sayak, whatever. He's from the fucking tribe, whatever. Right? So that's his name. Now this guy could be two things, right? He's either a total patsy stooge guy who was in the wrong place at the wrong time. He's a he's an extra actor and he's got all these, you know, he was in a Michael Moore clip and and um or and he's driving around Florida with a Florida with fucking Trump stickers all over, Trump decals or whatever they're called. So some shit from the inside, right? He's got all this stuff on his van, right? He's, he's buck wild, right? He's running around Florida, crazy Trump supporter, right? And he's a stooge, right? They saw him and they set his ass up. And, and and framed him for for uh, alleged bombings, sending fake bombs to prominent Democrats. Or, right, this is part of the same coin, right? Or he's either the patsy or he's a CIA plant, right? Where he's a, he's a guy who, this has been planned for a long time. It's like a sleeper cell, right? I don't believe that. I don't. I didn't believe it initially, and now I don't believe it even more. Why? Because the the police, uh, uh, if the police would have run a background, if that police, we have to say that the police video, the body cam video of him being interrogated on the side of the road in front of L.A. Uh, Fitness is real, right? And if the police would have walked away, it, it occurred to me last night, they would have come back with something that, or he would have said. To the police. Oh, by the way, I'm a, you know, I'm a, I work for the government. <laughs> you know, he would have said that, right? He would have, he would have, probably, either blown his own cover, or the police would have, would have found that out, and there would have been some kind of indication that he wasn't who he says he was, right? Okay, so, so it's either CIA plant, FBI plant, some kind of, some kind of setup, right? Plant paid for guy who who did this or he's a patsy stooge right and now he's he's his family is surrounded by fairly dangerous people and they, they're threatening him threatening him and persuading him to take a plea right take a plea right listen to ronald lowey the, the fucking the guy right the 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 uh the democratic operative telling his family and trying to represent him in jail We've still never heard from Caesar Syak. We haven't heard from him since his arrest. All we've heard is a, a, a lot of bullshit. And for some reason, this particular video has slipped out. He's a CIA plant or a Patsy Stooge, right? Or, right, he's one of those things. Or he actually did it. You follow? He's either, he's either, he either set up. He was either set up or he was a setup for the purpose or he actually did it, right? See, now, 
the, the first two still says it's a setup, right? It still says it's a fake fucking occurrence, false flag, right? 100%, right? Because you're either a plant or you were set up. That's, that's, a, that's false. That's not an actual event happening, right? Or he actually did it. So right now it looks like 90-10, like 90%, 90 that he's one of P Patsy Stooge or, or plant, uh, uh, and 10% he actually did it. So let's go further, right? Michael Moore video, right? February 18th, 2017. There's a Trump rally somewhere. Where is that somewhere? Melbourne, Florida. February 18th, 2017. A Trump 2020 rally occurs in Melbourne, Florida, right? And in this video, you see 20, 25... Uh, it looks like central casting, right? These, this was, this is acting, right? There's no doubt about it. The way they interact with the, with the crowd, the way they, the, the way they're interacting with the camera, it's like roll them, and and then the camera. Michael Moore is probably standing right behind it, egging it on, right? So it's, the, the it looks like the the press swing when they swing the camera to the press. That looks like it's real. That's actual footage. And then, but the rest of it is staged. They set it up to look, you know, because you see people exiting in the background. But here's what I want to say about it, right? It's not that, it's not that revealing that a guy, the video itself is not that revealing in the sense of who is Caesar Syak. Yeah, he isn't, he is a character. He is a, he's an MC and a DJ in, an, in, a, in a gentleman's club. Right? So that's not that surprising that he would also be an extra, an actor. He probably has an actor resume somewhere, right? That doesn't disqual that doesn't mean he's a plant and he, he no, it, it means that he's a perfect target. You follow? He's a perfect target because he's an actor. So when you watch the video, what's most revealing is not so much Caesar Syak in that because he doesn't say anything. That leads you to believe that he's an extra. Right? He's an extra. Right? The way to find out more information about this is not through Michael Moore. It's the people in Florida, the actors, the actors in the in the in that scene are all Florida. It's shot in Florida. They didn't they didn't import anybody. Maybe the lead guy with the big mouth. You know, th there's a couple of big mouths, but those are actors up front. So the idea, the the the, the value of that video is is the faces that are exposed in that video and if you're in that area if you're in florida you could check craigslist uh backstage casting that's what you want to look for right so if you want to take a deeper dive into the michael moore video don't go in the direction of michael moore but go in the direction of the people that were actually around him or were actually at that event and the likelihood is that they won't remember who he is because it's an acting gig. Act actors don't give a shit about anything. They just they 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 sit around, they talk, they they eat cookies and drink coffee, and then it's like roll them, and they 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 get paid a hundred dollars to show up, right? So don't don't think that that's part of some deep deep state setup where he's he's um he's he's an actor in a in a deep state role. No, he's just the fucking extra. Right, he's. A, it looks like he's an extra in this movie. It was some sort of casting call. Again, it confirms that he's just a real guy. He's just a regular guy, right? He's a regular fucking guy, an actor, a, a personality, a character. And when when confronted by the police and confronted by the authorities, you realize that it's an act. <clears throat> he's just a regular guy, right? So. <clears throat> So, it, it, again, staged, the Michael Moore video, watch it again, it's coming. You can watch it again and again. I watched it like four times in a row. And you see, it's, it's inspirational. We're taking back our country. <laughs> yeah, it's beautiful. It's, it's, it's trying to, it's Michael Moore. Look at, the cat, look at the way it's shot. It looks like a Michael Moore video. It looks like, like Callum, Columbine and, and his, his, you know, all the movies he's made, it looks like it's the same kind of characters. So that is a casting call 
maybe some of the people around the back are, are organic. They just join the mess. But the, the, the 20 or 25 central actors in that take are probably, you can probably find out who they are if you're in Florida, right? Through casting, any casting agents, anybody want to come forward that's a casting agent, right? Anybody who spoke to this guy that knows about him, right? Did he, you know what I mean? Like there's got to be information about, about this day in, in Melbourne, Florida. Is that where it is? Did I say it right? Yeah. Melbourne, Florida. In February 18, 2017, the Patsy was there. He appears to have been an extra in Michael Moore's 11.9 Fahrenheit, whatever the movie's called, right? And and it didn't get, I, I don't even know, did the scene make the movie? I don't know. I didn't watch the movie. But the point is that we, we got the video, right? The three and a half minutes of, of him doing this. So it it's a good, it's good. It shows again that again he's an extra in a movie. They're not gonna if you're if you're a retard and you're you're annoying and you're you can't follow orders. They'll tell you to leave. You won't get your hundred dollars. So again, it confirms that he's 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 workable. He's a, he's a working man. He's a working guy. He's not a fucking. But you know what I mean? Like it it doesn't it doesn't make sense that he's. You know, he was, he's down in Florida. He, he went to the same gym for 20 years. Oh, on the gym, right? I, I had said that he was, he was going to go in and pump iron. And a lot of people have commented, no, people that live in a van will, will frequent certain clubs to take a shower. So even if, he's a, even if you see him there and he's got a big fat gut, that doesn't mean he's not using the gym for the shower, for the sauna, the towels, the soap, the shampoo, right? That's what he's using the gym for, and he's and he he he's working constantly, and he takes breaks in his van. Maybe he sleeps six hours. Maybe that's the kind of guy he is, right? right? He can, he he can live on a few hours sleep. So, um, so that's my take on the Michael Moore video. Keep it coming. So you're still looking. You want to get, you want to get interviews of people. You want to. It's not hard to do, right? I'm, I'll publish anything that anybody gets. That's that's credible. Don't send garbage. Don't send bullshit. I got a fucking very strong bullshit detector. <laughs> don't send bullshit. If but if you can get if you can get you know interviews of people talking you know talking to people and that that actually were at that event, you know the the Michael Moore shoot or anybody at any of these clubs who knows the, the Patsy, you know. Anybody who's ever seen the car, things that are credible, just just you know, that that sort of stuff. I'd be very interested in in seeing it. But that's the gathering. It's not to go. The idea here is is not to go into harm's way, right? right? Because if it is a setup and it it is what we think it is, there's very dangerous, nasty ass people that that have no fucking morals. They have no 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 ethics they're they're evil fucking dangerous people right so you don't want to go dive into harm's way you just want to you want to stay on a pedestrian level where you want to talk to people right you talk to people that were there that's all that's all and you and let the let the let the court of public opinion decide right flush them out my name is marcus conti reporting Guard troops are helping out ice, my love.
Thank you. This one. Thank this one. Story. What about Bigfoot? Take it out with you. Get that one. Why don't you guys ask him about Bigfoot and UFOs? It's just a stupid as the Russian story. We're just as stupid.